back to another very interesting video of VK. In this video, I will be talking with you guys about the Pixel Experience ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi 2 smartphone. I had this smartphone Xiaomi Redmi 2. I had purchased this a few years ago, but I was not using this smartphone. I had kept it somewhere. A few days back, I took out this smartphone and I saw this phone had MIUI ROM. And Xiaomi had stopped giving the MIUI ROM updates to this smartphone as well. And this smartphone also had the boot loop problems, overheating problems, and a lot of other memory management issues as well. So what I decided was I'll give this phone a complete revamp and make this phone as good as a new smartphone. The first thing that I did is, as I saw the smartphone had the boot loop issues, or the smartphone was not even able to boot into the OS. And sometimes even it booted into the OS, it had a lot of issues like the memory management and heating issues. This smartphone was lacking so much that I couldn't even play the YouTube videos on this smartphone. I flashed the TWRP custom recovery using the fast boot method on this smartphone and later I installed the Pixel Experience ROM via TWRP recovery. If you guys want to know the exact process or the exact steps on how I installed the TWRP recovery, I'll make a separate video on that. Just drop a comment in the comment section below if you want to know how I installed the TWRP recovery using Using the fast boot method on this smartphone. I downloaded the Pixel Experience ROM which is running on the Android Oreo from the XTA developer's website. After that, using the TWRP recovery, I flashed the Pixel Experience ROM on this smartphone. After that, I had two different problems that I had to encounter. Those two problems were the error 7 of the TWRP recovery and also the FRP. I have made a separate video on how to solve the error 7 of TWRP recovery and what is FRP and how to remove FRP in a separate video and links for both the videos will be in the description and also in the iCards. After I successfully overcame the problems of error 7 and FRP, I successfully booted into the Pixel Experience ROM. And for the past 72 hours, I have been using this ROM and it has given me a really good experience. Now let me take you guys to a tour of how this ROM looks. In the later part of this video, I will be explaining you guys the pros and cons, the problems and many other features of this ROM as well. Let's go. When we boot the ROM onto the device, this is how the boot animation of the ROM looks like. And once it has been booted successfully, this is the lock screen guys. And let's dive in and check out some other features as well. This is the home screen interface and it uses the pixel launcher. This is the launcher as you guys can see. And this is the lock screen interface of the ROM. And once we unlock the ROM, this is a pixel launcher and I have set some default wallpaper and this is how the app tray looks like. And let's dive into the settings and we'll go down and we will check the about system. And this is the about phone. It says Android, it's running on Android 8.1 Oreo. It has the October security patch and several other features has been mentioned over here. And the next thing is we'll come back and we'll check few other features as well. This is the dialer application, guys. This looks exactly the same as the Android Oreo, the Pixel dialer app. In the three dots menu or in the settings, there are a lot of features which which we can see in the Pixel phones as well, like the caller ID, the spam. And in, by default only, you can filter the spam calls from this uh, caller ID application, as you guys can see. And the next thing is, we'll go into this uh, messaging app. And this is how you can uh, select and start a conversation. In the three dots menu, again, we can go into the settings of the messages. From default uh, settings only of the messages, we can go and uh, I mean, there is a spam production also. See, as you guys can see, there is this enable spam production option is also present. Next thing is, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the connected devices. These are the casting and the network and internet options and the few other options are also present. Adaptive brightness is present and ambient display is present and uh, you can easily monitor which app is using how much battery so that you can block that app. And if we go to the about phone section, we can see this, it is running on Android 8.1.1, 8.1.0 Oreo. And it is running on the October security patch as you guys can see. And I've been able to def develop options also. And there is this, in the advanced display settings, there is this night light which is basically a screen warming option which will prevent your eyes to burn and the next thing is there is this font there is this ambient display background color default text size all these settings are similar to the stock android and there is this background color which you can set to the automatic light and dark and there is this option known as accent color where you can set the different accents for the fonts and for the scroll bar and for the arrow marks if i set the accent color to something else like a blue it will automatically change to blue as you guys can see 
and this is the camera interface guys the options that is present in the camera interface is just like any other stock android smartphone and there is this auto hdr option face reduction io wide balance and many other options which will be present in manual mode in different phones but one thing is there is no presence of grid and the camera app also crashes sometimes so guys that was about the look and feel of the rom and how the interface uh, several different settings of that rom provides now i'll be talking with you guys about the five important points about this rom and you guys can consider this is the review of the rom the first important point is is vivo it supported or not vivo it is certainly supported on this rom if you're using a geo sim card and if you have the smartphone vivo it can be easily supported using this pixel experience rom but the vivo it video calls and also the quality of the calls using this rom was really good the second important point is about the display in many roms that I have tested on this smartphone there will be ghost touches and accidental touches that happen but using this pixel experience rom i have not experienced a single ghost touches or random reboot during my 72 hours of test if you guys are into different types of custom roms and android system development then you guys might be knowing about the random reboot problem that generally occurs with many of the custom roms but with the pixel experience rom on the Xiaomi Redmi 2 smartphones i have not experienced even a single random reboot over the course of the last 72 hours the third important point is about the quality of the camera the hardware that is present on this smartphone is 8 megapixel rear facing camera and let's forget the front facing camera it is just 2 megapixel the 8 megapixel rear facing camera with the pixel camera application that comes default with the pixel experience rom has given out extremely amazing pictures i'll be putting up some photos on the screen right now for your reference if you guys want to see The next important point about this ROM is the battery life that I have got. Generally, we get to see a lot of problems with the battery and charging in, when we put custom ROMs on our devices. But in this custom ROM, the Pixel Experience ROM, it, since the interface is as clean as something on a Pixel device, the battery hogging or battery issues or other type of battery problems has not been occurred during the course of my tests. I read some articles on the browser and I played some music over the headphones and also I played some music over the speaker as well. I have extensively tested this ROM yesterday. In the Pixel Experience ROM, I am able to easily get 4.5 hours to 5 hours of screen on time. I am extremely thankful for the developers who have developed the ROM for this Xiaomi Redmi 2 which is a very old device and the battery life has been really excellent as I said it gets more than 4.5 hours. Now let's talk about the charging. It has a 2000 mAh battery as I told you guys earlier and the charging takes somewhere around 1.5 hours to 2 hours which is normal and which is not extraordinary. The next thing about this ROM is this ROM is running on Android Oreo 8.1 and it has an October security patch and I will be testing out several other different ROMs which has the Android 9 or Android 9 Pi which has the very latest security patch of January or February 2019. The next really important feature about this ROM is the working of different sensors. Both the proximity sensor for calls is working properly and the ambient light sensor for the adaptive brightness or the automatic brightness control is working properly. The vibration motor is perfectly working fine. There is no battery issues with the device as I said earlier and the most important point about this ROM is I have not seen a single heating issue throughout my experience with the ROM. A Xiaomi Redmi 2 smartphone is a very old smartphone and with the MIUI I was getting so many heating issues and because of the heat generated by the processor the smartphone was lagging so much. But with the Pixel Experience ROM, I have not experienced a single heating issue with the ROM. So during my course of the test with the Xiaomi Redmi 2 using the Pixel Experience ROM, I have not experienced a bug or any issue which I can report here. So if you guys have liked this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends. And if you have still not subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button as we will be bringing some amazing content on our channel. Thank you for watching guys.